I heard it. Why is OBS not picking up Lotro, I wonder out loud? Uh, it's always something. Uh -uh. Service not available. That's not what I want to be showing at all. There we go. How did that get messed up? Okay, that looks more like what I was expecting to see. Check, check. Audio levels look good. Worsteinic looks dashingly handsome. Oh, yeah. Hi everybody, it's Big Ed Mustafa. Welcome to Adventures After Dark. I'm your host. I am excited to be here. And I am looking forward to playing some Lotro. I'm not going to lie, I have had very little rest and relaxation this week. Uh, so getting to basically chillax and play some Lotro sounds like a very good use of my time this evening. What am I doing? Let's host... Lotro stream on the Big Ed Mustafa channel. And Bacchus is here. Not Torque is here. Antler's checking in. Hello, Antler. Yeah, let's get this party started. So, first off, uh, you guys might have noticed that uh, I have changed the stream title from Free to Play Friday back to Adventures After Dark, which is a more generic catch all term. Um, I have the option to basically play whatever I want. By coincidence, all of my accounts and all of my characters have always been free to play. So if I'm playing Lotro, it's free to play. Uh, again, don't be like me. I would encourage you all to spend some money, buy some Lotro points in the store, uh, go VIP. It will enhance your gaming experience considerably. And uh, unlike previous reports, you can even Valar your characters, and it's perfectly fine. Excuse me. Also, we're moving into fall allergy season here in Nebraska. I'm very excited about that. I will try to mute my coughs. Mrs. Mustafa, however, is uh, well on her way to recovering from her first bout with COVID-19. However, you may hear her coughing horribly in the background. Uh, she only does it very rarely, but it can be loud and disconcerting. So if you hear something horrible in the background, it's Mrs. M. She's fine. She feels good. She just has to finish getting it out of her system. So it wasn't a big deal. It's just like she had a bad cold for a few days, a sore throat. Uh, we treated it with plenty of ice cream, and she's on her way to a full recovery. Ed, Huskers play tomorrow. I am aware. One of the Dakotas. Not to her confirms, the game is definitely worth spending a few dollars on. I agree completely. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about free-to-play, I have always been happy to answer them and will continue to be happy to answer them. Uh, I am excited that the free-to-play model remains viable for Lotro, but I think for most gamers it makes more sense to subscribe. Uh, but it's nice that free-to-play is an option if you simply can't afford to. Um, not my situation. I am just... I came back to the game because it went free-to-play. So... And I'm used to it. So it doesn't bother me to play free-to-play. But the rest of you need to pay up. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, play free if you need to. Enjoy the game however you want to enjoy the game. And uh, I will do the same. We got one of the Dakotas. Is it North Dakota or North Dakota State we're playing, Antler? The Huskers flew all the way to Ireland to lose to Northwestern last weekend. It was not a good start to the season. I had to ask the question, has Scott Frost ever won a season opener? And one of my buddies looked at me like, I have to go look that up. Uh, 
I know his coaching debut here in Nebraska, the season opener was canceled due to lightning and they never rescheduled it and then they lost the next game. And he's just, yeah, we've been snake bit for a long time. Ironically, I still think he's the right hire. Last Husky quarterback to win a national championship. Fantastic coaching pedigree, offensive coordinator at Oregon. Uh, head coach at uh, University of Central Florida, went undefeated at Central Florida. We brought him home to coach the Huskers, and it's just been kind of a quagmire. And not the giggity giggity kind of quagmire, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Uh, also excited for the NFL season to start. Um, having Russell Wilson in a Denver Broncos uniform is kind of a hellish nightmare for me. Uh, did not want to ever live long enough to see that. Um, but, uh, you know, the Seahawks have completely built a winning team from scratch before. Uh, the front office is certainly capable of doing it again. And we'll see how they play, you know. North Dakota, there you go. Some some years it's not your team's year. And uh, so far for the Huskers, it's we're off to a slow start. We'll see how the Seahawks fare. Uh, you got to be happy it's football season regardless. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to keep playing Warsteinic tonight. Uh, I have changed the name back to Adventures After Dark. Uh, and I may mix it up some more. We won't focus on free-to-play quite so heavily as I have. I just kind of feel like I've talked the topic to death. And if you haven't gotten the vibes I'm laying down, you haven't been paying attention. Um, I may go back and do a succinct, concentrated YouTube video and post it on my YouTube channel at some point. Uh, folks think there's some value in that. That way, you know, six months or a year from now, if you have a friend who might be interested in playing the game, we'll check out Big Ed's YouTube video. Here's the keys to free to play and go knock yourself out and have fun. Uh, my snack tonight, by the way, I'm eating toffee flavored popcorn. And we went out shopping for the raffle prizes for the Labor Day Air Show. And one of the stores we went into had these two big plastic gallon tubs of the caramel corn, the toffee, butter toffee corn. I thought, man, those containers would be absolutely great as donation jars to pass around at the air show. Plus, if I buy this, I can eat two giant tubs of toffee crunch popcorn. Uh, so there was not a uh, downside to that plan. So I spent about eight and a half bucks of my own money uh, to get the popcorn, uh, presumably so I could get the tubs that it came in to use as donation jars. Uh, Monday is going to be crazy out of the flying field. I'm going to see if I can figure out any kind of way to live stream some of it for you if I can. Uh, you'll be able to check that out on my channel. Uh, I don't get very good video feed from my cell phone, and I don't have a notebook or anything I can take out. I'm a desktop computer guy. Uh, I've had notebooks before. My last notebook I had, I gave away to uh, somebody at church. I, we just weren't using it. It was an older notebook, still in perfectly good working order. Um, it was fine, but it just sat here not doing anything. And she had a notebook computer that was just a, a hot mess. And I kept fixing it for her and fixing it for her. Finally, one day, I'm like, I, I think I'm just going to take Ellen, our old notebook, to church. Because it's still way better than this piece of junk I keep fixing for her. So, I don't have a notebook. It would come in handy for remote streaming. But uh, I don't know that's really going to be a big thing for me at any particular point. But, um, yeah, the air show, we've got uh, two different pilots that are going to be flying turbine-powered jet models. We've got a couple of uh, pilots with really big, cool helicopters that are going to be flying. Uh, my giant-scale aerobat guys are finally showing up. I've got three guys who have 12-foot wingspan planes with 111cc, 125c twin-cylinder gasoline engines in them. Uh, they're going to be doing some flying for us. Um, the weather forecast for Labor Day here, the last one I saw was like 86 degrees, uh, light winds, sunny. It's going to be a big old weekend, which brings me to another point. I mentioned we went shopping for raffle prizes. Uh, the very last day, 
somebody came in with the last $25 I need to hit the $500 goal for Make-A-Wish of Nebraska. Uh, the club was able to use that money to pay for all of the raffle prizes. We got some fantastic stuff. Uh, we'll be giving away a 43-inch high-definition TV. We'll be giving away a kid's bike. The bike was donated by Bike Masters in Elkhorn, Nebraska. Uh, we'll be giving away a $400 trainer plane package, courtesy of Hobby Town here in Omaha. Hobby Town also donated four $25 gift certificates we'll be giving away. Um, we bought... We've got a, a waffle iron that makes Mickey Mouse-shaped waffles. We've got uh, an old-fashioned uh, popcorn machine air popper. We've got um, just a bunch of cool stuff. We've got some gaming headsets we're giving away. There's a, a monster cable headset with LED lighting built in and another gaming headset by JBL. Uh, we've got a Bluetooth uh, speaker uh, with built-in uh, RGB lighting we're giving away. Um, we got, uh, pets are a big thing. So one of the, there's like three things that everybody in, in the RC community have in common. And one of them is, is they just love dogs and cats. And we got a, a dog camping bed, uh, a cot that you can lay out for your dog to get on. And they're not in the grass getting chiggers and ticks. And they can actually sit up out of the out of the weeds and stuff. Um, that was kind of a fun prize. We got a deluxe cat tree. We're giving away. It was like a hundred and twenty-five bucks. The thing's fifty inches tall, and it's got like three or four different levels of platforms and um, uh, picture frames and a George Foreman grill. And uh, we got a giant uh, baby Yoda body pillow and um but just just a bunch of fun crazy stuff we're giving away at the air show uh it's probably going to be the best prize package we've ever had and i owe the lotro community uh my friends and viewers from my own personal channel and from here at lotro stream just sincere heartfelt gratitude for your support and your contribution to that effort um, I was able to fundraise $500 here on Twitch. Uh, all of that money will go to benefit Make-A-Wish of Nebraska. Um, and because of the way the raffle prizes work, we'll probably sell $1,500 worth of tickets for raffle prizes uh, because of the $500 you guys donated. So we'll be able to basically triple your contribution to Make-A-Wish uh, just through a little bit of sweat and salesmanship on the day of the air show. Um, the, the air show schedule is, is set. The music is set. I'm really excited about the show. There's a lot of really cool stuff happening. And um, there might be even more stuff than I planned on, depending on how the weather fares and if everybody shows up who said they wanted to come out and do stuff. So, uh, again, my heartfelt thanks. I don't want to, to single anybody out out there. You guys know who you are, who kicked in. Uh, there was one particular viewer who said they would only contribute to Make-A-Wish and send in a donation if I sent them pictures of myself in a Speedo swimsuit. Uh, again, I'm not going to say who that was. I thought it was a weird request, but it was for the kids. So just so you know, uh, whoever you are, uh, I did go ahead and email those pictures out to hard hit at yahoo.com like you requested so um hopefully you'll get those and i appreciate the contribution um bacchus is joining me are you in voice chat hi ginger good sir waffle says my wife and i have that mickey mouse waffle maker she loves it i know wasn't that just the coolest thing we love to find stuff like that that's just, you know, they say a, a, a great gift is something that you want that you wouldn't buy for yourself. Mickey Mouse waffle irons and uh, a camping cot for your dog are both things nobody needs that lots and lots of people want. Those are the kind of fun things we like to give away in the raffle. Bacchus, how is your week going? 
It's not been too bad, just long. It's glad it's weekend. Your Waffles asks, did you post those pictures on your OnlyFans page? Uh, no, they were a direct private send to the requester, so... And hard hit, are you here in voice chat with us? Now I am. Okay, welcome. Hiya. I hope you find out who took your email address over at yahoo.com. I hate to think they're yeah, giving, I think you, I got giving you a bad reputation. But I know if you were asking for those pictures, there's no way you'd let me keep the speedo on. Anyhow. We're trying to keep it classy because it is low trust stream, but I got to pick on hard hit. It's just what we do. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be exciting, but man, am I tired! I am so looking forward to sleeping in on Sunday morning. Uh, work's been hectic, and I'm going in for more overtime tomorrow because you got to make hay while the sun is shining. So what were we working on? I think we were going to go and find some satchels and crates just up the road here. Oh uh, yeah, we're practically halfway there. Looks like we're all the same quest. <laughs> Tommy Lawless says, I snagged that email address. Except I need 13 more axes. Uh, yeah. someone, else needs, someone else needs them too. Yep. That's all right. We'll be able to kill Dunlendingers on our way there and our way back. We'll get our axes. Ginger asked what we're doing. We are out in Eregion, and we're just doing landscape quests, Ginger. You're welcome to join us if you like, and if you just want to hang out and chill and chat, totally cool. Glad you're here either way. We don't have a healer, but at the same time, we're probably just going to herb stomp whatever we run into tonight. Yeah. Marco. Antler, how's it going? Hmm. Heard the mark, huh? Not hearing anything else. Maybe he had to yell something at somebody else in the house and he actually muted himself. That would be exciting. Hello? There you are. There Welcome you back. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Am I I think I'm still I'm still getting used to using push to talk. No problem. You will get the hang of it, don't worry. We are on Lurcy checking in. Hello, Lurcy. Uh, we're on Creek Hollow. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to crack the monster open right away because I'm I'm not making any bones about it. I'm pretty <laughs> wore out. It's been a long week. I'm drinking something uh, called uh, Monster Ultra Paradise, and it's zero sugar, and I have no idea what Ultra Paradise tastes like, but this can is just dripping with sweat. I have no idea how humid it is here, but it's humid. Thank you for the shout-out, by the way. Do you are welcome. It. If I get it out of the way, I can't forget it. Already done. So let's see what Ultra Paradise tastes like. I have my mango flavored one in the fridge too. I'm going to say green apple. Not particularly apple-y, but it, it's reminiscent of like a green apple flavored Jolly Rancher, if that makes any sense. More like an apple candy flavor beverage than truly apple flavored. 
You're getting credit for those, right, Ed? You should be. They're probably getting a bit far away. I'm catching up. Yeah. Last I looked, he was like 90. 90 is close enough. I think it's yeah, 115. I'm sure I'm fine. I think it's 115. And we need to start picking up stuff on the ground over here. What are we going to do? Run out of mobs to kill in Aragian? I don't think so. Maybe briefly in a very localized area. <laughs> Lurcy says, nice to see ya. Drink beer like real Lotro fans do, not those wussy drinks. Oh, not live allowed. That's okay. I don't drink much beer these days. Plus, when I go out to watch football with my buddies, they give me guff for drinking diet soda. And I always tell them, hey, beer is all natural. I'm chugging chemicals. Man up and give it a try. We'll get Tommy Lawless a shout out. He's another uh, friend and Lotro streamer. Also a hell of a Rocket League player. Uh, not to be overlooked. So, glad you're here, Tommy. Hope everything is going good. He just started back at college here uh, not too long ago. And uh, it's unseasonably hot where he's at, and there's no air conditioning. So he has not been happy about that combination. Ginger does not have any characters close to your level on Crick Hollow. Well, that's okay, Ginger. We just appreciate you thinking of us. Like I said, I'll probably be mixing it up a little bit more here in the near future, so you can come and rescue me on other servers. Ginger often watches me bite off more than I can chew and then comes and helps me out. He is good people. In fact, Ginger's also a streamer. Let's give her a shout out. last seen streaming Lotro. You can also check out her granddaughter Somatome, who is also a Twitch streamer, and we do raid occasionally. Although I don't know Soma's been playing a lot of Lotro lately, but that's okay. Good to mix things up. Playing Lotro should never feel like a chore or an obligation. If you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. There you go. I was like, wow, he left this ancient iron. Then he ran up and started mining it right away. Yep, sorry. Right. That's okay. I'm pretty well good on ancient iron. No reason yeah. to walk past it, though. Yeah, I do need lots of it, unfortunately, on, the, on this one. Wasn't there some? Yes, there's a tree up here that we need a... The roosting tree. Yep. That's the one. We're going to kill a bunch of Crabane and set fire to the tree. Does not seem the most environmentally friendly option. I kind of like the anti peta theme that uh, Standing Stone Games has gone with. <laughs> well, given how... Murder like every tree. creature in the forest. It's like, uh, it seems a little dark, but okay. You're sure we're the good guys. Well, Peter tend to uh, feel a lot of the time, so... Oh, yeah. Oh man, I try to zoom view, mouse scroll. Yeah, it's funny if you're watching somebody else play Lotro, it's really easy to want to take control of the screen. Swivel the uh, view or zoom in and out. And that's even more true with the uh, flight sims, with the head tracking. Oh, I'll bet. It's like, why are you looking that way? I keep trying to turn my head to change the view. <laughs> Ginger says, I should be streaming more after Tuesday. The kids will be back in school. Wow. 
Tommy says it's been really hot, but today it was 75, so very much cooler. Oh, good. Sounds like a pleasant day. Glad things are starting to get a little more comfortable for you. That darn near 90 is perfect for the air show, because it'll be hot enough people are going to want a lot to drink, but not so hot they think, oh, we shouldn't go out there, it's too hot. Yep. Bane Slayer complete. I've got the axe, so I'll work on the tree. There you go. Uh, now we head back and go get the rest of our Dunlending axes, I guess. Well, uh, on the way, they are, I think... What is that? Let me just check. Yep, Worm Sire. I got it. And uh, the Worm Keeper. Okay. So if we head a little bit southwest. We're going to find him and we're going to make him pay. Mm -hmm. Oh, in Holland? Yep. Yeah. Let's have you all the same quest, looks like. These on the Slayer Deed. There's no worms on the Slayer Deed. Mm -mm. Bit of a shame, really. Really, I thought there was. Nope. I went, I went over the hill then. Or maybe it was just the birds. Yep. You leave my little minion alone. Have either of you guys seen Rings of Power yet? I nope, haven't. Not yet. I know Bacchus is really looking forward to it, but I'm not an Amazon Prime subscriber. In fact, I seem to be one of the only people on the face of the earth who's not a big fan of Amazon for some reason. I do actually have an Amazon Prime sub. Nice. So I will have to see if that's available in my region. It should be. There it's actually eggs up there. Well, if Hardhead will spring for the airfare, we'll come join you and watch it at your place. That sounds good. I'll bring pizza well, there, rolls. There is that actually a good. way for you guys to actually stream it online together. Uh, we could do a watch party of some description. Yep. I don't know that anybody's that fussed on. I have a Netflix movie on Blu-ray that I haven't watched in the last two weeks. I've just been too busy. Uh, right, so we need to get up the hill, it seems. Uh, Eddie, you going? I think, yeah, you're going the wrong way, Ed. No, I found the rich ancient silver deposit before you did. I went exactly the right way. Well, that's also true. You crafting <laughs> material, thieving son of a gun. <laughs> that's all right. Which reminds me, I actually need to send the silver that I do craft to uh, to Wast, I think. Or is it Jasko? Jasko. There we go. Jasko desperately needs gobs of ancient silver. Apulu checking in. Hi, Apulu. I just mentioned to everybody at Pulu that uh, we got uh, one last donation, literally within hours of the fundraiser ending, uh, in order to hit the goal, 500 bucks to help benefit Make-A-Wish of Nebraska. And I was uh, thanking everybody collectively for all of their contributions. And now I have to play and stream Apex for five hours. Yeah, when 
didn't you like we're talking about not having to play it and then all of a sudden the donation came in i was like oh uh, you had to open your mouth didn't you? yeah my favorite rocket league detonator is on my list now who came in with that donation i love her for it but at the same time <laughs> it's like you know i haven't really missed playing apex all that much Did another group come through here and just clean all this out? Uh, no, we, uh, did you not get credit for the kill? You were right there. I don't think so. Mine still says defeat and search. Yeah. No, uh, mine search says body. bring the knight to color loss. Oh, you oh, know what? Wait for him to respawn and kill him again. Well, I've no, got... No, note your bag. Yeah, I've got the worm sire. That's checked off. Yeah, now I gotta bring the note back. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in your pending loot. I got it. That advances the quest. Alrighty then. Yeah, I forget that Ed and Inventory Management uh, do not really belong in the same sentence. <laughs> Well, if you use the phrase extremely poor as a, as a conjunctive, it works. Yes, yes. I am still going to uh, get your account details somehow at some point. It'll never happen. Quite possibly. But I, it's not going to stop me trying. I won't even throw anything away. I'll just organize it so it's neat and tidy and you have some bag space. Mm-hmm. He said in quotation marks. No, no. Uh, I'll not throw anything away. I know Ed wants his task items. I'll just do things like uh, put all of those useless power pots and so on into uh, storage. I can just chug them randomly. I don't have any there power pots. Okay. I've got morale pots. There we go. Yeah, those little useless pre ones that you get from hub presences. <laughs> Hard hit. How's your week going so far, buddy? All right. There's a lot of crows to kill. Kind of exhausting. Well, appropriately enough, the plural for a uh... A lot of crows is a murder of crows. I think it just popped up and said I had 16 of 15 axes. That's quite impressive. It's rather interesting, yeah. And I need uh, five more. Then we'll continue murdering indiscriminately until you have everything you need and more. Uh, three. Okay.
rivers will run red with their blood until you're satiated. Uh, do you think that'll attract the fish? Can't hurt. Catfish love blood, blood bait. Look at you display displaying trout master, Mr. I never fish. I'm good. All right. If you uh, go into the kin house, you will notice there's a second trap master trophy <laughs> up on the wall. Congratulations. Feels good, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Chat's a little quiet. We might have to talk about food. Although it's been a pretty boring week from a food standpoint. Uh. Between all the extra errands I've been running at night and Mrs. M being a bit under the weather, I one night she just insisted I went to Wendy's and get her a biggie bag. Like, I really don't want to eat Wendy's for dinner. And if I never ate out of a paper bag again, I would be a happy man. But she's Mrs. Mustafa, so I went and got her Wendy's. I even brought her back a strawberry frosty, even though she didn't ask for one. I do know her. I think, I think I need to redeem that uh, I love you, Mrs. M thing again sometime <laughs> soon. Yeah, I might have a hard time spitting it out. She's been pretty demanding while she's been ill. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, uh, for those of you who haven't popped by the Big Ed Mustafa channel lately, uh, one of my new channel rewards is uh, Declare Your Love. For 100,000 Mustafa Lira, uh, I will... Without warning, call out to Mrs. Mustafa and tell her that I love her. And uh, I think Bacchus is the only one who's redeemed it so far, the one time. And go ahead and describe exactly her reaction. What? What? <laughs> I thought it was more yeah, of an, uh-huh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she was even listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, yeah she's, we've been married long enough. We tune each other out pretty well. It was fairly amusing. And I never told was, her I was uh, setting that up or that was even going to be a thing. So, like, Why are you talking to me? I'm watching TV. <laughs> uh, huh, what quest does this guy have? That Remaining we, uh... goods and the worm sire. Hello, friends, and well met. Uh, no, I'm looking at Lethulias, or Lethulias, Okay. with an un incomplete quest ring above his head, and I'm not seeing the quest that we need to add into him. Okay. Weird. My heart cannot sing today. Oh, he just wants us to go talk to somebody at Ekaterigian, that's all. Ah, okay. Grasp of the White Hand is the quest. How may I be of service to you? Bender of Gwingaris, that's a nice cosmetic.
Rogers, what did everyone think of Rings of Power? Uh, Bacchus and I haven't seen it yet. Hard hit's been stunned into silence by its majesty and glory. Greetings to you. <clears throat> did you say you'd seen it hard hit or not so much? Uh, Lord, no, not yet. Okay. Sweelad Melon. Is it disconcerting that three big Lord of the Rings nerds uh, haven't seen it yet? How can I be upset? Maybe. Stay a moment. We are getting vectored toward Ecad Regian fairly strongly now. Uh, I did pick up a quest that you guys don't seem to have to kill Dunlending southeast of Gwingris. Collect axes? Nope. Kill Dunlendings. And it says you're not eligible. With their own axes? Well, we probably just need to turn this into Enel Flag. The sorrows probably. of the Elder are never ending. Nope, didn't pop a new quest for me. That's interesting. Oh. That's a weird one. Also, who am I supposed to talk to about the roosting tree? Uh. I'm not sure. Stay a moment. Let me look that up quick. I got seeds for the seeds for the future, finally. I'm supposed to be able to turn in the roosting tree, and I don't see who the quest bestower was. I gotta chug more caffeine, holy cow. Matt Goran says, hi, what class are you playing? I am a dwarf champion this evening. Hulu's going into lurk mode. Uh, okay, I got the dungeons. Falang Falundia, Falundia, yeah. So where's that guy? He's ah, uh, here he is, up here. In. Okay. Oh, okay. Sweet Must have ran right baby. past him. Oh, weird. Maybe that's what opens up. Uh... Yep, it did. Will you stay a yep. There we go. My troubles. It's all coming together. Love it when a plan comes together. Exactly. All right, let's go murder more Dunlendingers. Hmm, wonder where freelancer is. Probably checking out his YouTube inbox or his Yahoo inbox. Always a possibility. Did you got a uh, yellow line or red line with that champion? Uh, both. What I did not do is go blue line. I'm currently in red line at the moment. Cool, cool. I'm thinking about you switching this one over to yellow. You don't have to choose, just don't run blue line. Mm.
Die, Dunlending scum. Die, ore stealing scum. I mean, done lending scum. Too slighted. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I need one more. Uh, and we'll kill three to make sure we all get credit. Sounds good. We will make them die slowly. Here we go. I think I'm supposed to be collecting seeds from humorns. Did you guys already, already do, do that? that? I didn't. Hmm. Well, we can go and do that for you. I don't know it's that important. If there's uh, one region that it's not hard to get the quest done for, it's Irigion. Because all of the quests inside school count towards uh, a zone completion deed. I have characters who've never set foot inside Irigion who've got, like, the, what is it, the Silent and Restless or something? The, the questing deed? Mm -hmm. Completed. Doesn't it worry you that if Eregion was a mispronunciation that aluminium might be too? Nope. Not even a little? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go whack some trees and collect some seeds, fellas. And it looks like we're heading to Eregion. Ecad Eregion. Although we have to go turn in the uh, Butcher the Dunlendinger's quest too. Which was going to take us back this way anyway. And we should run into at least a few new ones along the way. I would sure think so. Whether or not they are in an area where they count is the question. That would be the question, yeah. Oh, I've got a rare elite Huorn called Thornbird, Thornbeard. On the way. <laughs> Mentoring the flute. One of these days, I will have to uh, level up a minstrel so I can use those. Well, here you go. Here's a uh, twisted holly. I don't know if it's going to count for you. Unfortunately, no. no. Well, it was standing between me and some ancient iron, so I needed to die anyway. 
Believe me when I say I understand the sentiment completely. Hold on to a sled deep down here. Apparently I'm collecting seeds from holly bushes, not from trees. I don't remember that. Oh, those are over here, aren't they? Yeah. Somebody's phone ringing? Not mine. Must have been hard hit. Nobody ever calls me. Kind of like it that way. Uh, I'll call you, maybe. I see what you did there. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, Lou, how you doing? It is a very early. Four o'clock in the morning for Lou. Good to see you here. <laughs> Love you too, Ed. <laughs> there are severe repercussions for even joking about that song. <laughs> I know. There you go. <laughs> Time me out. He got the hard hit six second timeout. Oh, weird. I don't see it. Uh, it's in the chat. I don't, yeah. I have a chat up. I don't see it. Weird. Hmm. Maybe be because it only involved you. Because yeah. It only involved you and the stream. Yeah, Lou's, Lou's just getting in for the night, not waking up. Yep. Uh, Probably with the uh, direct message. Nope, it's uh, it's there in chat, for me at least. Yeah, I think it's just yeah. you and moderators who can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lou and I ran um, Hidden Horde yesterday, along with Red Baron and a few of her other friends on Dark Trine Evernight. Nice. Which was nice. Yeah. How'd that uh, go? Yeah. No, not bad. It was just tier one. So right. Two no, it's... Good. Got some upgrades for the rune keeper. Yeah, depending on what you had, when I went in the first time, it was huge upgrades. Uh, it was nice upgrades on my two pocket items, and a necklace or two, maybe. Any boots at the end? Yes, but not for my law master. Lou graciously passed along. Uh, I've got my eight seeds. Character. If you guys are ready to head back right. to town. Yeah. Also, it appears my bags are full. Insert surprise face Pikachu meme here. Exactly. <laughs> I have found Warren Ringlore. You won't give me my last page. I need one more page. Let's make sure that I've got those quests. Greetings, friend. <clears throat> How may I be of help? Oh, for the skill the, for the pages. Do you ever turn, um, do you ever talk to that guy? You're supposed to. Which one? The class trainer. Yeah. Do you ever talk I'll to him? I'll check. I'm pretty yeah, sure. 
Okay. Because it was late one night when you left without doing it. You're going to do it next time you logged on or something. Let's have a look. Class. I think. Shut in the dark. Okay, I need to talk to Legolas. Yeah, okay. Uh, deadly precision. Quick as a wind. Use penetrating shot. The furthest charge. Talk to Legolas. Yeah, so I've, I've done them. I just need to hand them in by the look of it. Oh, right on. Pont and Finberry checking in. Hello, Pont and... Mm, I think I'm down to one quest. Mission plane. Uh, How you doing, Pont? Yeah, I've already done them. I never remember even seeing a single notification pop up like you've acquired a page or anything. It's weird. Oh, that'd be great, Lou. I'd appreciate that. That would be very, very nice of you. She's such a nice lady, is Lou. She's uh, invested a fair amount of time and effort get helping uh, myself and Red Baron get our characters sort of set up and geared up and run through a few instances. It's been a lot of fun as well. I'm seeing content I don't normally see. Oh, well, good. And it will be useful for when we get to that point on uh, Wednesdays. In game win in game Wednesdays. Wildcard Wednesdays, rather. <sighs> I'm excited to be moving up to Remmer Chant. I am looking forward to that. Yep, I finished that up on the Guardian and the Rune Keeper. Uh, so they're ready to go whenever we got in there. Yeah, it's about 10 minutes worth of quests to do, and then you just need to run up and uh, discover the, uh, the actual instance. Cool. Uh, if you, you have something you still need to turn in, yeah. I'd... You soon you turn something in? You're behind them on. Captain of Sadrechu. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you need to go. Um, what's the face up here? The one where they got the. gave us the quest for the Dun Landings. Yeah. And you feel like. You know, the stats on the older gear are weird. On the uh, Elder from the Rift, or...? Well, that would include Rift, because it it's this level of content, or age of content. But, I mean, I'm looking at the uh, the level 50 armor set that I bought from Rivendell, and why does my hunter need will? Because he's good will hunting. Yeah. It's like, instead of putting physical mastery or something, and they've given me a lot of will. It's a little light. strange. Yeah. Um, well, on my, uh, what is it, my main, on my current main lore master, he has a tactical mastery of like 16, uh, 615,000. Well, that's a stat that he's supposed to have. Because he uses tactical skills. Mm -hmm. My... 
Hunter, on the other hand, does not exactly use a lot of will or might. That is wasted stat budget. Hmm. Maybe they just want you to be well rounded. I guess. Can I share that with you? Nope, not eligible. Oh, you just need a hand in still. Thank you for my, your patience while I continue to dig out from the loot avalanche I'm buried under. Uh, loot? We're just basically doing landscape uh, in a region, just working our way through here. Um, we've done the intro to Moria quest. We all got our legendary items. Not that they're particularly well set up, given nobody's got any ancient script. Uh, but yeah, we should be heading into Moria in the not too distant future. I am actually maxed out on my ancient script right now. Oh yeah, that's not hard to do. I got weapons I've never praised yet. It will give you a lot of uh, a lot of ancient script. That's why I don't understand why the last gift is just fifty script, fifty script, fifty script. I mean, uh, I mean apparently it does change. <clears throat> uh, there are people out there who are doing forty, fifty levels of the X, the reward track a day. Somehow, I've got no idea how, but apparently they are doing that. And uh, they say they they do get the other rewards again as time goes by. It resets. Uh, I don't know so much that it resets. I think they just chuck in a uh, a different reward from time to time. Oh, from opening, if all I... one, it, opening all the ones at the end is fifty, 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 Greetings, fifty. Friends. Here's horse. How may I be of help? Yep. I see. Yeah. The last reward track, the first reward track, I went about 40 or so past the um, the end of the reward track. And I, all I got was script. But if you look at the reward track, you'll see that it's like every 50. Uh, 25 or 50? Let's have a look. 25. Yeah, every 25 levels you get something nice. So it could be... Uh, it could be the same sort of thing applies. Every 25 levels, they give you something different other than just a box of script. Yeah, well, like, the first time around, I had 450 or so. And I opened all of them, and it was all script, and I just kept spending on stuff. I was buying, like, travels or returns and stuff like that just to spend it because I didn't want to waste it. I didn't want to see, and Great. I didn't get anything out of that, so maybe it might be something new. Might you spare a moment of your time? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, I was just going to make a joke about what they give you something useful, like Daleman's Crams. You guys were actually actually some very nice stuff out of the uh, are actually useful now. Track. Yeah, they actually redid those. Yep. Speaking of reward tracks, so I just claimed it. So I did cap out at 10,000 script. That is fantastic. So nice thing about the reward track, you don't have to claim it. You can just leave it on the reward track. In def well, at least right up until the very last day and then you can claim everything on the last day if you fight for space or whatever oh is this the guy at the dunlendon camp we need to go summon uh yep yep all right oh and i need to just bring the seeds to ingwingris i missed turning in a quest sorry not a problem. We shall wait for you. It is a problem because I didn't see anybody who had a quest for me to turn in. Uh, I am seeing a quest guide thingy pointing up to the camp, though. Well, and then they're going to want me to go plant the seeds, so that's also a problem. Yeah. 
I wanted to go murder that boss dude. Oh, we can murder him and then go and plant seeds. Looks like you didn't do it. I don't think I did it. Let me plant seeds and then we'll go murder the camp boss. As long as I don't ride off of a cliff and plummet to my death first. Be a little inconvenient. Well. I could res you. I mean. Not a major train smash. How much would you raise him, Marcus? Uh, about 50. Maybe tree 50. Tree 50. Whatever. 75. Nah, tree 50. Four hundred. Oh, tree fifty. Well, that's because we did this. I heard it's now. The uh, the, the tea quest, the repeatable one. No, that's the the holly leaves. Hi, Canna. We're on Crick Hollow tonight. It is. Uh, Craig Hollow, Kenna. Genie Wood Trolls kill them every paper in their pocket I want. Well, that guy didn't. Uh, have you tried asking them nicely for that piece of paper? How about some aggressive negotiation? Oh. Catch more flies with honey. Trying to let you live, but apparently you did not want to live. Martin said, had to step away a minute. How are things going? Good. We're just doing some landscape stuff in Aragian. Uh, Blue is saying the drop rate is low. You need to open a lot of those 101 boxes. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I'm finding is the um, the Gundabad dailies, uh, lofts and uh, forges, give you a crazy amount of progress on your uh, reward track. Uh, I'm already up to about level 60 or something on Evernight. I'm going to be finished long in advance of uh, things coming to an end here. You your no, I was just heading to the last spot when this uh, Wood Troll Elder decided he wanted to meet Wood Troll Jesus. <laughs> I arranged the meeting. One more seed to plant. There we go. Cotton, how is your weekend starting off? I've had gas station sushi for lunch like twice this week. You're a braver man than I. Well, technically the gas station's owned by the major supermarket chain. Uh, so it's pretty low risk. 
And uh, uh, Ivy or Casey's? Ivy. Ah. Uh. Although it's funny you mentioned it because I brought Casey's Pizza home for dinner after we got done shopping for raffle prizes. I was starving too because I only had gas station sushi for lunch. Um. I winky dink. All right, let's go kill some den lendings and then we'll go turn in some quests. But That's yeah, the the high V gas stations have like salmon rolls and California roll. You can buy one get one free. It was like three dollars and fifty cents a tray. A good cheap lunch, fairly light and refreshing, and fairly healthy. Yeah, and if I actually did and... get sick off of it, they've got deep pockets with which I can sue. <laughs> no such concerns. Since it isn't actually high V employees making the sushi, I don't think. They have a company that brings that stuff in. Most of high vs in-house stuff, uh, the Chinese food and the pizza is all very dreary. Not a big fan. Their nickname for their Chinese food is Hai Chai. And there's people in town that are like, oh yeah, I love high V Chinese food. And it's like, wow, really? You should probably get out more. Eat some actual Chinese food. Yeah. Not coming in this bad. And granted, it's still better than anything Mrs. Mustafa's ever cooked, but a really low bar. I'm going to quote Donnie and say that I'm not going to say anything about that. There you go. <laughs> Glad Donnie's finally Donnie. teaching you. Uh, he, does, he doesn't pop by Lotro stream that often, except maybe to just say hi once in a while. Mm -hmm. I think he said something okay. about uh, having some flight attendants coming by the crib later or something. Ah, uh, He might be, be tied up, yeah. Literally. Pont says, also saw the first two episodes of The Ring of Power, which I quite liked. If Pont liked it, that's a pretty good endorsement, Bacchus. Oh, glad that Pont liked it. I shall, uh, I think I'll give it a while. I'll wait for the hullabaloo and the hype and everybody's opinions to fade. And then I'll watch it. So I can actually maybe give it a fair crack. Talk to in free link. Talk to everybody. Yeah. Where's your guys epic at? Uh, Moria. Okay. I have no idea. Uh, volume one, book one, volume one, book three, volume one, book five, volume one, book six. I am all over the map. I am not in Moria, though. Uh, you should be. Well, I'm in Moria, but not in the epic. Uh, well, you kind of have to be because you've got your legendary item. <laughs> well, let's see if it's got anything listed. You maybe just didn't pick up the... Uh, actually, you maybe haven't... didn't qualify to pick up the uh, the follow-on. Yeah, we might have done it uh, too low a level. Yeah, I think you can now, now that you're 47, but I think you were 46 when we, uh, we finished and uh, went quite high enough. I keep desperately clawing for additional caffeine, and this can's been empty for about 30 minutes. So when we get to Gwingris, I will be making a quick beverage stop. Nothing wrong with that. I might grab an extra Coke Zero along with the second monster. I had to buy Coke Zero cans, too. It's not happy. It never tastes as nice out of a can. Uh, it, it, I, I have to... It's like... For some reason, there's only a four ounce difference between the bottle and the can, but I have to drink three cans to equal one bottle. I don't get quite how the math works, but it what is what it is. I just rubber banded in uh, Rivendell. I don't know if anybody else is getting lag. Nope. No, it's been it's good been here. quite smooth. Yeah. Yep. So please don't jinx us. Buttery smooth, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. You keep your lag. We don't want it. <laughs> I hereby I bequeath nice you my life. Uh uh, you keep it. That's all yours. <laughs> sure, Ed's got a very itchy 
six second timeout finger. It's true. If I have to explain to Cordovan that you uh, referenced Carly Ray Jessup, uh, he might just be like, why didn't you just ban him outright? And it'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Cheer stream hype. It was a first defense. All right, we're back. And just for fun, I was mentioning the popcorn containers. I just thought you guys might want to see what I was talking about. I will uh, either finish or transfer the popcorn probably to gallon size Ziploc bags. Peel this off and I'll put on a Make-A-Wish logo. Cut a little hole in the top and we'll have a couple of big donation jars for Labor Day. And the popcorn is good, too. That was my justification for buying toffee-flavored popcorn. I have no regrets about that decision. How may I be of service to you? Oh, I don't know if that video card was audible or not. That's the one difference. I've been running that uh, Radeon 6600 card I bought on eBay. And from a gaming standpoint, it's like two tiers below my regular 6700 XT. I can't really tell a difference, which is a good lesson, actually. We spend a lot of time sweating and scrutinizing, scrutinizing over minute details and hardware performance. And reading every benchmark and every comparison video and and uh, just sweating over gee should I get the the RTX 3060 the 3060 Ti or should I stretch to the 3070 the reality is you won't notice the difference between those three cars if you're just playing a game you actually have to be benchmarking something to be able to measure the difference from a playing standpoint is almost imperceptible yeah. Perfect is frequently the enemy of good enough. Yes. And then, the biggest difference between these two cards isn't performance. It's that that uh, MET cooler on the uh, MSI card it is loud. The thing just spins up and makes a lot of noise all the time. And it's a lower wattage card. It shouldn't be as noisy as my 6700 XT. But for some reason, that reference card from AMD just cool, quiet, never makes a fuss, and I'm hearing video card fans for the first time in a long time, and like, why is that so loud? And it'll spin up really high when I'm not doing nothing. What the hell was I riding to? We're supposed to be going to E.K. Adoregian. I'm uh, not going to lie, I'm very interested to see what the uh, the new AMD processors are like. Those are sounding very exciting yeah that was a pretty cool reveal on monday i mentioned it last friday that they were going to be announcing the 7000 series chips 
though, just for Zinger's sake, because I know he's always fascinated by all this PC hardware talk. He's probably sitting there with bated breath watching the stream, hoping we would discuss it. But the uh, the new uh, Zen 4 chips are built on a TSMC 5 nanometer uh, fabrication, and AMD is upping the clock speed up to 800 megahertz, depending on the chip. That uh, 7950X is the new flagship 16 core. Yeah, uh, 5.7 gigahertz, yeah. yeah. So for stock. The stock, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, stock, it won't come with a cooler. You will need to add a cooler. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, 100, 170 TDP, 170 watts. So in theory, it should be able to peak out and run sustained on a good not inexpensive air cooler. You won't have to liquid cool it like you do the Intel chips. Um, yeah, the last 12-gen Intel ran quite warm, is my understanding. Uh, they have for several generations, actually. The, uh, the 10900 and the 10850 were very hot chips. Uh, even as far back as the 9900K, uh, even a 240 millimeter AIO wasn't sufficient to cool it. You had to go at least 280 millimeters. Um, we had to get more, sur there's like a 36% difference in surface area between those two. And it was enough that the, uh, the 9900K would, would Overwhelm it now. Yeah, with the uh, thermal throttle on a 240 millimeter water cooler. So it's pretty amazing what AMD has done. Uh, power, Thanks, clock speed, energy Thanks, efficiency. Friend. Will you lend me your ear? Things left behind. Silent and restless intermediate complete. New deeds, silent and restless advanced. That means more Lotro points. Megavonen. Will you lend me your ear? Moving unseen, and welcome visitors. Sweet light, Melon. Megavonen, might you spare Lots a to turn in here, time. too. That's a happy thing. Um, but the, the new chips all require new boards. It's a new socket. Um, AMD, Air mm -hmm. AM5 socket. And it's LGA, which means the pins are on the motherboard and not the CPU. Um, you can use uh, an old AM4 cooler. The uh, heat spreader size is virtually identical, uh, which is very cool that they designed it so that the old coolers don't need to be updated or have to get uh, uh, adapter kits to use them. Um, I just really smart engineering on AMD's part. It's almost like somebody sold their soul to the devil. Those guys are just <laughs> really doing some great things. Um, yeah, they're talking about a 13% um, instructions per clock gain, generation over generation, plus the faster clocks. Uh, up to, what, 23% faster in certain applications? Mm -hmm. uh, and their single core speeds are... Well, as we were saying, 5.7 gigs. Yeah. I think the, the low-end chips are, what, 5.3 stock before... 5.4 5, for the 7600X, which is the lowest lowest binned chip. Uh, it's like the 5000 <coughs> series. As, as they add more cores, uh, they actually get faster on clocks as well. Normally, it's the opposite. If you add more cores to a chip, it normally can't hit faster clock speeds. But like I said, I mean, there's just black magic at work. AMD is doing some really, really surprising engineering. The uh, the ceiling getting raised from 105 TDP to 170 watts is how they're getting the clock speeds up so high. But with the old silicon, it didn't matter how much voltage you poured into them, they couldn't go faster. So, um, and Intel's got new chips that'll be coming out. They'll probably announce those in a month or two. There was a rumor that uh, AMD is specifically shipping on September 27th, because that was the expected date of Intel's announcement for 13th gen. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but it's a fun rumor. 
Galarfin, hello. Pot says, I'm not sure why, because I have a PC case to keep things quiet. RTX 2070, sometimes when playing games like Lotra, I'll hear a loud fan go off from time to time. Your Waffle says, my old RX 580 was an MSI, crazy loud. I specifically stayed away when I got my 6700 XT, XFX has been whisper quiet. You know, XFX isn't highly thought of, and I've had several XFX cards and liked them quite a bit. Uh, my 5700 XT I traded to Daddy Hutch was an XFX. And I uh, was very happy with that card. Uh, the only reason I traded it was I got the 6700 XT straight across. Plus he took me out to lunch because he wanted to use the card for mining. Uh, and we're both happier because of it, so... Uh, but the one of the points I was going to make is um, if if noise bothers you, uh, you know, I've got headphones on, the PC's under my desk on a stand that's not up on my desk near where I'm, you know, it's not at ear level. So the fan noise isn't bothersome, especially as noise noise blocking as my headphones are, but it's still noticeable, which is like, wow, that's a lot of fan noise. But MSI has three different grades of cooler. They have Mech, um, or I think they call it Ventus in some of the lines. Then they have Gaming, and then they have Gaming X. And as you go up, you get better and better coolers. Um, Sapphire has their standard cooler, their Pulse, and their Nitro Plus. Uh, power color. Um, you know, there's, there's different grades a video card from each of the manufacturers and I think from a, a quality of life standpoint if your choice is a slightly faster GPU on a cheaper cooler versus a one tier down but on a better cooler you might be better off going with a lower tier GPU on a better cooler uh, I'm really starting to see why that might be a happy thing. Because, I mean, I'm I'm like everybody else. My inclination would be, okay, what's the fastest GPU I can buy? And what's the cheapest version of that GPU? <laughs> I think that's how a lot of us shop for video cards. And when you really compare a cheap cooler to a good cooler, uh, it's like, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Maybe taking a slightly slower card on a premium cooler might be a better life choice. Yeah, the aftermarket coolers are much cheaper. No, and I mean, by the time you spend that kind of money, I mean, you could have gotten yeah, so. a better chip on a better cooler. So, now I'm drinking the Monster Ultra Mango. It's good, but again, I don't know how much like mango it actually tastes. Um, it does taste of mango. There's definitely a mango flavor there. Mango is one of those flavors that you just really can't easily reproduce. Uh, a naturally ripened fresh mango is truly a wonder of nature. I mean, there's there's few things on Earth, I think, that taste better than that. Like a peach with citrusy undertones. Just really good. Although I'd have to say I like this better than the uh, Ultra Paradise. Quite like monster. They're just not all that good for you. Well, and I didn't make it into my favorite candy shop to buy the venoms, so I was at the uh, store buying gas station sushi, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll get a couple of monsters." Or no, I actually bought these at the grocery store last night when I was getting Mrs. Mustafa's Ricola sugar-free cough drops, mint and uh, lemon flavored. I bought three 12-packs of Coke Zero in cans, because those were on sale 
and my beloved half-liter bottles were outrageously priced. Oh, we're supposed to be hunting lynx pelts. Who knew? Uh, yep. All right, I'll catch up. Uh, nine mob. Hmm? Uh, this might be... Oh, the wolf, the borg? Yeah. Okay, now we got this. He did not make it. He is with Warg Jeebus. Um... We need a. There's a quest north of us that we might want to yeah. do before we. Okay. There's runes that are just ahead of us. Where the worms typically are. Defeat half orcs at Pemba. Yeah. Like, didn't we kill a bunch of those already? Yeah, we've been up here before. There should be some links around here somewhere, too, I thought. Uh, the links uh, will be behind us. They're closer to Ekad Regan. Wargs and badgers out here. Oh, we did get a bunch more Pembar quests. Got Rubble to search. One here. <laughs> Defeat half works at Pembar. For some reason, this mango has a slight peppery flavor to it. That sounds quite nice, actually. It's not bad. I'm not usually a fan of fruit. It's too sweet. But uh, that does sound quite appealing. The rubble out here. Went outside.
Right, I found two rubble down here where I am. I can hear that fan spinning up on that video card, and if there's one game that shouldn't stress a video card, it is Lord of the Rings Online. Okay, I just need Lynx pelts, and we can go turn in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my video card's going to be good for a while. I think. I, I'm, I am going to be tempted to replace it far sooner than I need to, but uh, I'm definitely interested in that new uh, the new processes that AMD are putting out for the clock speeds because of uh, DCS World. I'm that glad you're very, playing very... something that uh, can take advantage of extra horsepower. Yeah, well, single core clock speed is what helps that thing perform. It's doesn't do multi-threading or well very little actually in gaming does multi-threading yeah so the the higher your single core clocks the better yep. especially the unoverclocked single core clock speeds there's a lynx <laughs> Up to five of ten pelts, because for some reason, uh, despite the fact that every one of these has a pelt, well, sometimes you camping. damage the pelt while killing the creature. Hmm. Realism. Uh, are they saying they? Uh, well, it doesn't say that she wants good ones. She just wants pelts. There we go, 10 to 10 for 10. Ah, now it's 10 for 10. <clears throat> Are you good, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, like three or four lynxes ago. I'm definitely over RGB. I think if I do build a new system, I'm probably going to focus on quiet. Yes. I've been purchasing Be Quiet fans for some time, just because they're good fans and they're not any more expensive than the cheap fans if you catch them on sale. Back. I must say, uh, I the next PC I build or have built for me no RGB at all. If there's RGB, they must turn it off. I have a couple of these uh, Pier Wings 120 millimeter case fans. Got them on sale for like seven bucks a piece with free shipping, and I'm like, just order those as spares. Never know when you're going to have an old case fan go up. Doesn't hurt to have something like that laying around for just in case. Sweet lad, Melon. Somebody leveled. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? Uh, my uh, champion. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. What do you need? What can I do for you? you yep, looks like it's catching. Hold on. Uh, there we go, I think. Hail, friend, and well met. You elf relics and elf trinkets. You may be of service to me. Defeat the worm, sire. I think we have to go back and blow a horn. No, it's that one that's just wandering around the... Uh, wandering around yeah, on the out, west but... side. Oh, okay. It's the other ruins? No. East side. That's no, the same ruins. Okay. We killed him when we were there. We'll kill him again. Yep. As many times as we have to.
Oh, the half works have relics on them apparently and trinkets. So this is butcher more half works time, which really is usually a good policy anyway. I'm pretty sure they're a slayer dude anyway. Yep. Yeah, dude complete. <laughs> Plus, if you've ever experienced a homeowners association, normally they're mostly made up of half works. KDX Killer checking in. Hi, Nick. Nick. We were just talking about processors and video cards. Did you ever get that GTX 1070 to try out in your system? That's a solid card. Oh, yeah. Uh, the computer I'm running in the second account on has a 1070 in it. Oh, now we got worm eggs to destroy, too. Yeah, I'll punch back here. All right. Well, oh, somebody just killed him. Yeah, I got credit. Find a half work. Yeah, he's outside. He's Bring back. the That's item from the company's the campsite. Okay. Well, let's set that as the quest guide focus and go find him. My god, why are those showing up still? That is hella annoying. I can't change my quest guide focus because my quest actions available won't go away. You guys see my screen? Uh, yep. Have you got... Blocking me out. Um, go to, you, go to your um, UI. Yeah. You can move it. Turn off auto. Yeah, go to your... No, your uh, shift... Shift backslash. Control backslash. Control backslash, I mean. Is that what you mean, or is it that yeah. you've got quests that you... No, that's exactly what I mean. I know how to change my UI around. I think it's stupid that I have to. 
mine got stuck like that once and I had to move the UI. Somehow they got stuck between each other. It was overlapping something. Well, it won't give me the option to decline those. I decline, it they just they stay. Uh which That's ones why are they? It's stupid, the missions. On a mission, on a continuing mission. I don't uh, want to do missions. Oh, they're going to pop up every time you log in until you accept them. Yeah. Uh, either accept or you can filter them. Okay. Or how about I click decline and they go the hell away? How about that for an option? Uh, have they done that with Hobnanigans? Uh, right. No, I'd actually consider doing Hobnanigans. <laughs> Not without Zinger. Not without Zinger, though. I need him to teach me the intricacies of Master Hobnanigans play. Alright, I know the one thing that can soothe my ruffled feathers. Just been refreshing Coke Zero. You are exactly right. Hashtag not sponsored. That's an injustice. Mm -hmm. The amount of free advertising that you've given to them. That's the problem. I'm the Ethan's mom of Coke Zero uh, spokespeople. I give it away so much that they'll never pay me for it. Wait, what were we talking about? Uh, Coke Zero. Okay. <laughs> And we're keeping it classy here on Low Trip Strip. Nick's gone non-responsive. Where are you guys going? To the uh, southeast. You guys are heading. Oh, there we go. Now you're heading southeast. Oh, I've. Snaps update slow. And I have found the guy we're looking for. Still haven't found what I'm looking for by you too. It's on the air show schedule. That is a good song. You two have done some very, very good music over the years. I agree. Even if Bono is insufferable frequently. But, yeah, swings and roundabouts. That's all right. I was just telling somebody that uh, I think Sean Penn is a fantastic actor and director. I just don't care what he thinks about a lot of stuff. Mm. I must watch Angel Heart again. Why am I con why am I conflating Sean Penn with Angel Heart? Because that was a Robert Mickey De Niro Rourke? and Mickey Rourke movie. Yeah, thank you. I don't know. Uh, that was a very very good movie.
So here's a fun fact that came out the other night. Bacchus has not seen any of the Godfather movies. Oh. Larfin says, thanks for the shout out, Big Ed. How is Lotro tonight? Good. We're just kind of having a chill night doing some landscape stuff on Aragian. Um, talking a little bit about uh, completing the uh, fundraising goal for Make-A-Wish and getting ready for the big air show on Monday and uh, talked about what all have we talked about? Evening, Nick. Food. Uh, Evening, gentlemen. Graphics cards. Hi, Nick. Graphics processes. cards. Processes. Noisy computers. And... You guys making fun of me? No, I'm kidding. Always. Nope. I got my uh, my brother's 1070 in the mail yesterday, and my new I SSD will be here tomorrow. Nice. So, I wish you many, many happy hours with that 1070. I'm still quite happy with the, the one I've got in my spare computer. Well, Nick 1660 Super was probably just as fast, but it hasn't been working, so he's going to try a different... Oh. Uh, yeah, that 1600 series confused me, because it seemed like... Because they went to, what, the 1070... Well, the 10 series, the 20 series, and then they brought out the 1600s. So it's like, wait, what? Well, the 1600s were the non-ray tracing cards for last generation. Oh, uh, okay. This year, yeah, they don't, that, they're yeah. all ray tracing, even the 3050, which can't actually do ray tracing. But it's a ray tracing card. I'm going to try the SSD first and then see if I still have issues because I'd rather, if I can sell the 1660 Super saying it's working correctly, that'd be way easier than uh, not. I'm downloading that new Lord of the Rings show right now, so we'll see how that works. None of us have seen it yet. My buddy was just... I'm hearing that it is very very pretty it's beautiful yeah. by all a lot accounts. of people yeah what i'm hearing is a lot of people said it doesn't give them the middle earth vibe they want but they like the yeah. uh, aesthetics I like the visuals were amazing it's like the more gore you know or the more gore based you are for those you like it i'll give it a sh solid shot uh i'm yeah, just going back to the Wheel of Time series they made, because I'm familiar with the books, very familiar with the books, and enjoyed them as much as I couldn't. I no, I I got ten minutes into that and was like, mm -mm, can't do this. It was that bad. But apparently, it's if you've not read the books, it's perfectly serviceable and decent and watchable. Yeah, I've heard you good things it? about people. Mm -hmm. You started it? No, the Wheel of Time series. Oh, that Wheel of Time. Also did. Heard good things about the Wheel of Time series. Yeah, Bacchus hated that too. I hated it. Bacchus hates lots of things. No, I'm just kidding. I do. I'm a grumpy old man. You're a ray of sunshine compared to Freelancer. Where's he at tonight, anyway? Mm. The Ring of Wokeness. Wokeness of the Rings. <laughs> A lot of social justice warrior input on the new series you're feeling. There's a, a meme going around of uh, Mike Tyson's face overlaid on the uh, the Queen of Maria. It's like, why did they not cast that? That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it wasn't Mike Tyson. It was Mr. T. Mr. T is the, uh, is the dwarf fool. queen. I pity the fool. Greetings to you. Yeah, that that was perfect casting right there. For a billion dollars, they made it. The show better be serviceable. Yep. Yeah, oh, the problem is they're going to want three billion dollars to shoot season two. Uh, no, nah, the, the billion dollars is for the light, I think, not to oh, season boy. one. All right, where well, are we, we off to, fellas? Gonna we have half an hour well. to go and. Uh, fetch uh, something that some thief has taken. All right. Down in Nansirinon. Uh It's two very widely distributed quest objectives. Annoyingly. Well, as long as I got an arrow pointing to it on the mini map, I think we're good to go. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to head off, you guys. I'm getting tired. I don't blame you. 
If I wasn't drinking some heavy, heavy fuel, I'd already be asleep. I might be sleeping right weird. now and just dreaming that I'm streaming. I have no idea. Well, I think in a very imagination. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Just, just. Was that a deliberate Dire Straits reference, Ed, or accidental? Uh, probably accidental, but I'm a huge Mark Knopfler fan. I love Dire Straits. There we go. What song did that's I accidentally the... reference? Heavy Fuel. Oh, yeah, that that was probably deliberate. Yep. Did an Unseen Hand advance at all? Or is that mm, the unseen some... No, we haven't done that. No, we haven't done it yet. Um, I thought it was... Yeah, Dire Straits' first album is Salt one of my all-time favorites. Sultans yeah. of Swing, Down to the Water, Lion, Water of Love, mm -hmm. Lions. Romeo and Juliet. That was on a different album, but uh, oh. yeah. Um, big Mark Knopfler fan, big Dire Straits fan. I've got his, did a country western album uh, with uh, various uh, country western artists from the U.K., and he called it the Nodding Hillbillies. Um, I remember vaguely. Terrific album. Just good stuff. Um, and my one regret, and I was just thinking about it the other day. It's funny you mentioned the Heavy Fuel reference, but uh, I was thinking I ought to try to round up some Mark Knopfler solo albums. Yeah, I can't remember if, I think Heavy Fuel might have been on one of his, or was it David Knopfler? It no, was it was him or his brother that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. I think it might have been in, on Brothers in Arms. Thanks. So. Let me Google this quick. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I got a new bed today, so that's that's nice. That is nice. And then my buddy decided to gift me uh, Diablo three on PC for some reason. Nice. That was nice, friends. Uh, let's see. Did you ever play the game I gifted you? A fractured butthole? Yes. Yeah, I need to get back into that. I loved the first one. So You need to get back into the butthole? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Don't say Always. that. It's not classy. We're on Lotro Stream, Nick. You gotta keep it classy. <laughs> it was on, the, on every street album. Sorry. Okay. I only play Hello Kitty Adventure. On Every Street came out after Brothers in Arms? 1991. Gippio checking in. Hi, Gippio. Hey, Gippio. What's up, Gippio? Delarfin said Wheel of Time series started out great, then ended blah. Sounds like Game of Thrones. Delarfin's not impressed with the costumes, but the art style is gorgeous. She's waiting for the entire season before I watch an episode. I suffered through the fake Halo series to finally get John 117 to be Master Chief. Botton says, I have not read nor seen Wheel of Time, but the only thing I've heard many times in different places, it's not a good adaptation of the text. Except for Professor Corey Olson is the only one I've heard praise it being faithful. Literally, the opening dialogue introduces changes to the law, and not small ones. So, uh, the yeah. The people I don't know about that so much. The people who made the Halo series, the directors admitted they would never read the source material for Halo, so that instantly turned me off. Yeah. It's like, why bother doing an adaptation if you're not actually going to adapt it? Yeah. That's my thought. <sighs> but yeah, no, Gippy, we miss your sh uh, shitty butts. Looking forward to seeing you back again. I think Gippy is looking forward to living in a house. When you I guys imagine close, Gipio, when are you going to have that all settled? Sometimes. Well, I don't know if Gipio's heard the news. Larfin says, I never read the books either, but from the Google searches, it's its own version of the story. I will say the horses and costumes were gorgeous. So, yeah. anyway, Gipio, uh, I hit my goal on the uh, Make-A-Wish fundraiser. We got exactly $500 in donations. Uh, so I have to play and stream five hours of Apex. That's but disgusting. I don't have to unlock Mad Maggie, and I sure as hell don't have to play as her. So that's a partial win. Or ten straight hours. Or ten straight hours. 
I can't even imagine what I'd be like after 10 straight hours of Apex now. Have the paramedics on standby for when the strike happens. Yep. We'll probably try to do that next Saturday, a week from tomorrow. Uh, if you swing left up the hill, and it's part of the exploration deed. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I yep. discovered it. I got Here credit go. for it just riding past, yeah. The Larfin says, ooh, great, but there's next year. Potten says, I've been waiting for someone to finally pick up the rights from Nintendo and make a good Legend of Zelda film. That'd be good. TPS yeah, says, closing kind of is early to mid-October. They just finished putting up drywall this week. Well, I hope that time goes quickly and you're into a new house soon. Uh, I must actually check when the new update for Speaking of Shitty Bites when that's out, because that's pretty soon, I think. Yeah, Gippy has been week, rather week scarce lately, Delarp, and he just moved halfway across the country and changed jobs on us. Where'd he go? Where'd he move? I went from uh, Maryland to Texas. That's disgusting. Just kidding. I think it was a good career move for him, but mostly he just wanted to be able to go hot tubbing with all up in you. So. I was going to say, now you have to <laughs> man mandatorily have to hot tub with all up. Yep. Anybody who travels to the state of Texas, just look up all up in you, schedule some hot, time, Hello, hot tub time well, with them. That's... You'll be glad just you Google did. Tax. Just Google Texas, and that's the you first thing that pops up. Yeah. There's a picture of Alapena and a sound clip of him saying, "Hey, you want to go for a ride on my motorcycle?" That's an old sound clip of him. Uh, it was quite funny back in the day. Sounds like a man after my own heart. Ooh, that's a bitch. Yeah. Why that's... do you trouble me? The Larfin says he'll love the hot tub time. Exactly. Everything's bigger in Texas. Just ask Alap. Remember back in 2008, IGN made a fake live-action April Fool's trailer of Zelda and proof a real film can be done. Film rights to Lord of the Rings got sold, like, last month. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, not just the film rights, the, the whole rights to Media books, rights, games, yeah. movies, yeah. They need to make more games. That would be good. The I don't actually know how it works, because it's the same rights that Standing Stone have. My well, but they were owned by that Salmon Corporation, mm -hmm. Zenmax, or whoever it was. So somebody yeah. just acquired the the rights so that they can license it out to game and film companies. In theory, it shouldn't uh, change anything too radically. In practice, yeah. it could change things very radically, depending on what they have in mind. But hopefully whoever bought the rights is happy to just sit back and collect royalties on licensing. I need to make more Lord of the Rings games because I loved some of the early like 2000s games were ph phenomenal. Well, the Gollum game is on its way. Yeah. Aren't the King was such a good game. It's not high up my list of priorities, but. Uh... I just feel like we get enough Star Wars games. I feel like uh, Lord of the Rings needs some. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to the day that Disney lose that uh, or sell or whatever. Because EA, uh, EA doesn't have exclusive rights to the game. Yeah, anymore, they lost so. that a year or two ago now. Or... Thank God. Because they, they did nothing with it. I don't know why. Uh, they made Battlefront Well, they did that. very little with it. Battlefront 2 was good, but the issue was is they launched it with microtransactions to the point where it influenced gameplay instead of just cosmetically, and that's where they yeah. that whole most massive problem. Uh, where are we? I could be a stick in the mud and remind everybody that we're not supposed to criticize other games on Lotro Stream, but as long as we're only bashing EA, I feel like that's perfectly acceptable. 
EA used to be good back in the day. I don't think any video game fan can say you shouldn't criticize EA and say it with a straight face. So I'm comfortable we're in we're in green territory here. Do you like Sims? Yeah, five hundred dollars, please. <laughs> you know, I get that it's a business, but eh, that's that's perhaps getting a little excessive. Money, hun money hungry, perhaps. Mm. Well, I ran into it in the RC flight sim world. That real flight simulator I have, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you how many thirty-dollar expansion packs I bought that aren't valid anymore, and they've changed the version. I originally bought version three point five, and it's on version nine point five, and my old discs don't work, and I'm looking at having to rebuy the whole simulator and. So, I mean, it happens in every genre. So. Besides, I mean, if Adobe can rent you their software for productivity. Everybody wants to move to subscription models so they don't have the boom and bust cycle with releases like they do. Yeah, like Photoshop, that's... That's ridiculous. Well, one of the reasons why I started playing and streaming on Linux was just in case Microsoft ever gets around to making Windows a subscription-based service. They want to charge us monthly for Windows. Yeah, I think I would switch over at that point myself. Yeah, and it's not that, you know, Linux is the end-all be-all for operating systems, but it's nice to have an alternative just in case. Yep. And as long as we're mentioning Linux. Tux Ramus, perhaps. Yeah. Ooh. I almost typed uh, Tux Rumass. <laughs> Would have been bad. Well, he does enjoy a tipple from time to time. Not rum, not as far as I know. I haven't heard him talk about rum. So. Not yeah. And various beers and ales. So he and Linda Tepler, a.k.a. Sorcerer Zero, have been a bit scarce lately. But he's her video editor, and I think they've had some projects going on, so they haven't been hanging out with us late at night. But check out Tux Ramus if you're not following him. Give him a howdy. Oh, and uh, that guy we ended up raiding Wednesday night? Yeah, the one that looks like him. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there was a couple of guys. Was it last Saturday the guy thought he looked like me, or was that over the weekend too? Not too sure. It all runs together after a while. That was the first, that was the first one. The one before last. Yeah. Uh, Ravis X we'll give him a shout out he was brand new to Lotro he'd only been playing it five days and hopefully I'm not misspelling this name I think it's two like eyes yeah I, we've just run into some new streamers who were just very cool and chill Ravis was very excited to get the raid I think we only popped in with 16 people or so but he was pretty glad to see us. And then uh, last weekend, the other fella, you'd think I'd remember him too. It's, I, it's just important to pop around. You know, if you log in and, and your favorite streamer's not around, go see who else is streaming Lotro and just pop in and thank them for streaming the game. I'll give another shout out to uh, Aubrey. The weird one. She raided uh, Ala Pena uh, a week ago Saturday when I was hanging out over there just chit-chatting. And she's uh, a variety streamer, has been playing and streaming some Lotro too. But uh, yeah, add these guys to your follow list. It doesn't cost you nothing. And pop in and say hi. And hey, thanks for streaming Lotro. Uh, yeah, Ponton says Embracer bought the entire intellectual property. Continue to be the same, almost as Middle Earth. 
enterprises, but they're looking at wanting to make some more such as films. And Delarfin says, I remember the old PC Lord of the Rings game that came out in the 90s, I think. Delarfin says, not Gollum. Gosh, golly, Miss Molly. Remember, Delarfin, Gollum is the true hero. Uh, he found the ring and hid it away from Sauron. And then uh, when it was Frodo who couldn't bring himself to destroy the wing, ring, it was Gollum well, who got it done. Yeah. Wow, what a way to look at it. Mm-hmm. Not an inaccurate way to look at it. Okay, what the heck else were we doing? Uh, back up to Pemba. We need to kill a half orc. Uh, man, another trip to. I'm tired of Pemba. I'm not gonna lie about it. <laughs> I think this is the last one. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time at Pemba. And the roots. Have you watched the series? Now nah, we were just talking about it. Ironically, nobody in voice chat has seen it yet. Um. But, uh, yeah, some folks seem to really like it. Others, uh, were hoping for something else, but that's okay. You know, I, and I've talked about this before, too. Um, I'm a big fan of Thomas Harris. He's the guy who wrote, uh, Silence of the Lambs, Red Dragon, Hannibal, um, his work's been very often imitated. Um, I don't remember another villain quite like Hannibal Lecter, unless you go all the way back to Professor Moriarty from the Sherlock Holmes uh, stories. Um, and then, I mean, ever since Silence of the Lambs broke, every TV series, every movie's got their Hannibal Lecter. Um... But uh, Thomas Harris also wrote a novel called Black Sunday that got turned into a major motion picture. The guy's only written like a half a dozen novels, and every one of them's been a, uh, a bang turned into a into a huge blockbuster movie. The guy probably didn't have to work again after Black Sunday. And he just wrote an incredible fiction series just for something to do. Uh, I'm probably going the wrong way. Uh. Kind of, but you're on the right track now. Okay, good. Trying to go towards the arrow. Um, anyway, what's been interesting for me is all of the movies and all of the TV shows produced from the, uh, I'll call it the Red Dragon series. That was the first book he published, uh, even though Silence of the Lambs was better known early on. Uh, Manhunter was an early movie adaptation before they did a a more proper Red Dragon. Uh, Michael Mann from uh, uh, Miami Vice did the uh, original Manhunter movie, and it starred uh, the guy who played uh, Will Grissom from CSI. Uh, I should know his name, and it's just escaping me at the moment, because like I said, I'm a little punchy tonight. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in on Sunday. Uh, and then Mrs. Mustafa informed me that I'm going to need to drive her Monday morning. I'll be getting up at 5 a.m. Uh, prior to having to go run the air show all day out in the hot sun. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like as long as I can get a decent night's sleep Saturday, I'll be able to pull through Monday. Yeah, my last page. Thank you. You are welcome. I am here to help. Right on. I've been looking for that all night. But... Uh, Red Dragon was phenomenal. Manhunter was flawed, but there were some things I really liked about it. Um, ironically, the guy who played the uh, state trooper captain in um, in Super Troopers, uh, Brian Cox, played Hannibal Brian. Lecter. Yeah, 
He was brilliant in Manhunter. I mean, he was so good as Hannibal Lecter. Completely different from Anthony Hopkins, but just really, really did a great job in that movie. Um, the TV series, uh, I think they, what was it called? Did they call it Hannibal? I think so. The one with um, Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen, yeah. Fantastic work. I really thought that was extremely well done. I was surprised. And even the uh, uh, the Clarice TV series that CBS was doing was interesting because it kind of takes place in between a couple of the books, but they kind of weave some bits and pieces of storyline from the books into it. Not great. It was definitely a B-tier effort, but still good, still watchable, and still a good use of the characters and plot lines. Um, and it's been interesting to see all the different variations of his, his work being adapted and how all of them contribute to the overall whole. There are strengths and weaknesses to each of them, and some are fantastic and some are only good, but uh, overall it's been surprising to see the variety of adaptations and how all of them uh, have had some artistic merit to them. They haven't just been cash grabs. It's been nice to see. That's good. And if you've never read the books, they're better than all of the movies and all of the TV shows. Um, Silence of the Lambs, for example, won an Oscar for best screenplay based on a previously written work. There were whole characters and subplots they had to cut out of the movie because they just wouldn't work on film. You, you didn't have time for the, uh, the narrative and the expose that would be required for the plot lines. Uh, very, very much worth going and, and reading the books. Um, there's a lot more to them than what was on film. And the films were terrific. I mean, they really were. I remember reading Hannibal and wondering how they were going to end the movie. It's quite a bit different than the book. Um, I remember reading, um, is it Hannibal Rising? They did the book and the movie about young Hannibal. And I thought they'll never be able to adapt this into a movie. They did it and they did it really well. Um, so it's just, it's been a very gratifying because it's a completely different experience than, you know, like your Wheel of Time experience where it was like, oh my God, who made this trek out of my beloved book series? Uh, not my experience at all with the Thomas Harris stuff. And Black Sunday's uh, been largely forgotten, but that was a terrific movie adaptation. Will you lend me your ear? And again, lots of narrative and Maybe subplots and characters removed from the movie, because you just wouldn't have time in a two-hour film to cover everything. Another author that they've done really good adaptations of, uh, James Elroy. The L.A. Confidential Black Dahlia movies. Okay. Sure if they've done any others. L.A. Confidential in particular. I mean, I'm not a fan of Russell Crowe. Really, I'm not. But uh, I I think he did a... Well, not because of his acting, but I, I quite enjoy him in um, L.A. Confidential. Very, very good. Black Daily with Josh Hartnett and uh, what's his name? He was Two Face in the Batman movie, and Scarlett Johansson. Very, very good. Tommy Lee Jones. Actually, that's no, oh, no, no, uh, not that, uh, not that Two Face. The other Two Face. <laughs> yeah, the more recent one. <laughs> I'm happy to say I've completely blanked out on that because I can't think of another Two Face. Um. I'm going to have to look William it up. William Peterson, you are correct, Gipio. Thank you. Can the Root said there's no black character in Lord of the Rings Online? Uh, there are. Yeah, actually, uh, I have a character, Big Ed Mustafa, on um, uh, Rick Hollow, oddly enough, on my main account, and he is uh, black. Yeah, you can certainly create very... Yeah. 
Uh, I've got a quest here. The prisoner Barad Molas. Yep. I, we might have to do that one at a time. Go ahead and hit him. There's something with this, I remember. Yeah, I that sounds familiar. We'll get him started. We'll just walk him out. We'll come back and walk him out. If that's the case. I forget. There was something with him, though, I think. Or you can't have another quest. I don't know. Maybe I was doing two things at once or something. I don't know. Stay with him if you want to go get that statue up there. There's a statue right there. Yeah, if you want to go and grab that statue that I just did. Okay. I think they respawn. Sure? I thought I already picked up this particular statue I'm grabbing. Maybe I'll just stand here um, and wait for it to respawn six more times. No, you don't need there watch. is okay. a uh, quest item that'll be in your bags. Uh, an ornate necklace. What? You expect me to pay attention to what's in my bags? That's just crazy talk. Yep. Oh, assuming it even went into your bags in the first place. It ah, no, there, there it is. I see it. I got it. Yeah, Big Ed Mustafa is uh, a man of Gondor, and in the Gondorian character creation, uh, black characters are quite easy to make, both men and women. Yes, my love. Uh, yep. I think men of Brady uh, can also make very dark put, skin. Uh, where are you at, hard hit? I'll put you on follow. Be right back. All right. Oh. Yep. And then there goes my headset. Your stream, honey. What are you doing, Uh, there's one here by me. I should wait for him to come back.
And I'm back. Alright, well, welcome back. This is Mustafa had several oh. demands of me, none of them erotic, so I told her I was going back to playing video games. <laughs> I did manage to help her with a couple okay. of things first, oh, you though. Not follow. follow me, please. Why am I following you? You can get these Bet statues you missed. Okay. Uh, anybody care to rate the blackness of the NPCs yeah. from Harad and the Khanid kingdoms? Mm. Brown, mid brown. Yeah, I mean probably more Arab than than African, but they over here, Ed. I I will. I'll just wander around and pick up the statues. Don't worry right. about guide dogging me. Yeah, the Ambarim or whatever they're called. There you go. Uh, also dark. The uh, Haradrim, the, the people from Rune. The people of Middle Earth are quite very cultural. Yeah, and not all of them human, uh, which only adds to the flavor. We didn't get the banner quest yet. That's well, what I'm right. seeing. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, they'll back probably send that. us back in here. Naturally. Uh, hey, that area you just cleared out. Go clear it out again. Thanks. <laughs> Defeat Shetagar, uh, Shetogtar. Whatever that is. That's that dude that needs defeated. Uh, Oh, here he is. Oh, you know who else we're going to shout out? Mage Centron. You raided! Hello, Mage Centron. I think I got credit. I will kill him again. Farming Simulator 22, that sounds like fun. I actually did play a bit of that the other day, and it was quite amusing. Cool. Uh, it's free on the Xbox Game Pass. Nice. Ooh, and there is some conspicuous rubble in here for ring law. Nice. There are so many great Lotro streamers right now. We've shouted out a bunch of them tonight. Uh, the Green Eyed Gamer. Um, mm. Professor Teacher G, hopefully she's recovering. I think she was in a car accident. Yeah, she says it's going to be a while before she streams again. Uh, but she sounds okay, just a bit battered and bruised. Yeah. So, best wishes to her for a speedy recovery. Um, Busy Beth uh, has been playing and streaming a lot of Lotro lately. Hello. She's just Larry, fun to hang out with, and her laughter is infectious in the best way possible. Larianna has been streaming and playing Lotro. We just Bloodborne, shouted out Mage regular, Centron, yeah. Bloodborne. I was saying I need to shout out Bloodborne. I mean, that's sort of, you know, like saying you need to tell everybody the sun's going to come up in the east. If you don't know no. Bloodborne and you're watching Lotro on Twitch, you're kind of lost. Um, Steam uh, is Zogon? still playing and streaming. Yeah. Uh, What a great community. feel bad you guys are stuck with me on Friday night. You'd think they'd get somebody better, but until they do, I'll be here. It. Quest mob's back up. So. Okay, who's the quest mob? Shatokuta. Alright. We're going to find him. We're going to make him pay. Uh, well, you should be close enough to get... Uh... He is. He paid. He didn't make it. Uh, Alright, six more wolves. Or, f yeah, six more wolves. 
And I think we're done. Aren't they worth the wolf masters outside the... Uh... Uh, well, any wolves count. Oh, really? So we needed to kill wolf masters and kill wolves. But did we get the wolf masters like we, done? We got the wolf masters done. Or at least I did. Uh, okay. I don't know if you were in range. Hard it probably took me and tried to walk me off a cliff while I was AFK. I got him done. All right. Oh, well, up here to the east. You looks got like. Uh, you just need six more wolves or however many wolves. All right. Should be a den over here somewhere. Isn't there a wildlife discovery point clear off to the west here? Uh, yeah. Yes, there is. Uh, you need it for Back the. Uh, you do need it for the one deed. Track. Can you track? Uh, of course I can track. Just getting a little bit closer to the area it says on the map. What are we tracking? Wolves or the area? Uh, oh, my bad. Uh, uh, wolves. Area. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. I'm at Torek Lad Ladnell. Yeah, so, yeah, let's wait for uh, Ed because he's a good couple of hundred meters away. Big dead tree stump. You guys already get the discovery point? I got it the other day. Uh, okay. It's the one I need for the uh, hunt to travel. So after last week's stream, I uh, finished that up. Okay. I now we just ride need to go for back. prowlers and for glory. Yep, I've got one right here by me. Diesel girl says this is actually my first time seeing Lotro. I remember uh, before it used to show command first. Goes Ed shouted out before it shows him doing the command. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Lord of the Rings Online is 15 years old, but it's a gorgeous game. Still a uh, vibrant player base. They're adding new content all the time. And they've got a terrific free-to-play model. Very, very sort of player-friendly. It's grindy. You've got to invest time and effort, but uh, it's very player-friendly. Will you lend me your ear? My heart cannot sing today. Grey is the shadow upon my heart. Might you spare a moment of your time? How can I be of service? She's got a later. Mind my words, traveler. What do you need? Don't you hear six wolves? Uh, I've got mine. Yeah, I was kind of surprised where you, where you guys were located because I thought the wolves were east and north of here. Oh, I just finished up now. So is it yeah, wolves or is it wargs? Wolves. wolves. Wolves do not okay. count. I tested that and it did not work. All right. I think there's both out here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of wolves just to the east, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. And lynxes. There's a scrub stalker. For a 15-year-old game, it's impressive graphic-wise. Uh, it's a really, really nice rendition of Middle-earth, too. It's very faithful to Tolkien's written works. There's some set pieces in it that are even more spectacular than the movie. Um, the Mead Hall in Edoras, the capital of Rohan. Uh, Methel, help me out. Uh, Medis Mediseld? Yes. 
There we are, Metaselt. The Mead Hall is gorgeous. Edoras looks much more um, impressive in game than it did in the movie. In the movie, it looked like an old cavalry fort from a western. Uh, they just did, they couldn't build it big enough from a practical standpoint. Um, the city of Dol Amrith is gorgeous, and in game you actually get to travel to Mordor and explore Mordor, and they did a fantastic job with Mordor from an art perspective. And they've oh. really done a nice job of stretching the game engine and and finding new creative ways to maximize the graphic potential. Uh, well, in the next week or two, we're going to end up in Moria, which I feel in game is far more impressive than the way it's described, even in the books. Oh, yeah. But especially compared to the movie. I mean, in fairness, the, in the books and the movies, they're, they're going through it as quickly as they can. Uh, whereas in the game, you get to actually explore and see what the place is like and so on. It's yeah, the very, Mines very of Moria impressive. expansion is, is an amazing technical achievement from an MMO standpoint. Uh, it's an entirely self-contained world with different regions and, and a ton of different sites to explore and fascinating quests. And at the same time, it's all one great big underground dungeon too. Uh, just extremely well done. Moria was very neat. Uh, Minas Tirith. Kind of impressive, impressive in its own way. It's a yeah. pain in the ass in game. It was almost too yeah, it's, ambitious. It's uh, too big and too detailed. It used to kill the engine. Yeah, then. it led to some technical problems. Um, but they mostly smoothed that out. The 64-bit client really does help. Yeah. I need one more wolf. Up there, maybe. Oh, named Warg. We killed him once already, I think. Die, Warg scum. Now I got a wolf here. Nice. Oh, yeah, there should be bunches and bunches of them here. Yeah, there's, there's a wolf, there's already fallen. Yeah. Gipio says Dol Amrith is my favorite, quite spectacular. Yeah, Dull Amos is very pretty. Yeah, just to be fair, the weak spot of Lotro, I would say, is player versus monster player. It's not great, but it's there if you want to try it out. Yeah, um, the game was not designed with PvP in mind. It was bolted on later. Yeah. the Truly, the best part of it is uh, storytelling. They do a really nice job of weaving your storyline parallel to the storyline of the books and movies. And you intersect with some of the main characters. You'll see Gandalf, you'll see Legolas, you'll see Aragorn, you'll help them in certain parts of the game. But you've got your own things that you're doing as well. And um, you just you feel like you're a part of a... Of a, of a game world and not just a bunch of leveling zones that are bolted together. And they've done quite a bit with original storytelling as well that's really, really good. Um, yeah, you're not the hero of Middle-earth, you're a hero of Middle-earth. Yep. Definitely have to play this. If I ever get a gaming PC, I've mostly been a console gamer and collector. Nothing wrong there with is that. Talk, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't hold my breath on a console There is talk conversion. of them. Yeah. yeah. Do not hold your breath, but there was talk of a console port. Yeah, there was it's talk about flying cars, of, too. I don't have mine pre-ordered. Yeah. Yet. Well, the, the Jetsons did say we'd have them by now. I know. Actually, I think George Jetson was born in 2022. That he was. Which was also the and date that the movie Soylent Green took place. 
Well, at least we're not eating people just yet. Uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, we're a good 6 to 12 months away from that happening. Yep. Why am I lost? Aren't we heading back to Ekad Um. No, collecting relics. That uh, looks to be done at Barad Molas. Where's... This is where we collect in the statues, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know why the quest guide is taking us back here. Oh, it just swung. The walls, no. Treasures for him. Now we got the banner quest as well now. That is fantastic. No Donner party here, no thanks. I'll stick to animals. Animals are delicious. And I'm a man of science, but pork does make me question evolution. What evolutionary advantage would uh, swine have to being so delicious? I had thought that was where you were going to cover that. Yes. <laughs> see a quest ring on your mini-map right here? Uh, no. Zinger says, enough with sweet baby rays, it's all chicken. <laughs> or with enough sweet baby rays. Hi, Zinger. Now those task order masters aren't going to resupply yeah. themselves. Yeah, maybe I should just go ahead and charge that dwarf with the big two-handed axe. Good call, half-orc. Anorander got himself captured again, so now we're just going to leave him here so he learns his lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yep. Once his misfortune, twice his carelessness. Yep. Like Judge Smales sentenced men younger than you to the death penalty, I felt I owed it to them. Got to teach them a lesson by having them electrocuted. Caddyshack reference for those of you who are too young to know what a good comedy is. Uh, I need to watch that again. I watched it in the very, very dim distant past. Mrs. M claims it's one of her favorite movies, and then if I make a reference or a quote like that, she's like, what are you talking about? Uh, your favorite movie, honey? What? I don't know if I actually put it up as a quote one night, but I think I did. E.D., I mean, people accuse me of being a cannibal, but I am not a cannibal. I tried human flesh once. It's too salty. I don't remember that, but I do remember you did quote him once. It I might have been that, but I don't think Mussolini so. too. You know that statue class for Vance? Mm-hmm. It did? Yeah. Right. Forget to turn it in? Yeah. Oh, well. Probably holding you back from two or three other quests that you'll have to come back here for. I got the banners. Okay. You can look and see. Open your quest. With my, how many am I missing? Just one? Uh, I've got four quests. 
Yeah, treasures from Baradmore last year on a previous. Uh, yeah, there's a quest to collect relics from the orcs that we're killing that yeah. you don't have. Alright, we're Yeah, you're gonna want to kill more orcs anyway. It is a slayer, dude. Plus, occasionally, if you kill a half orc, when he splits open, he'll have candy inside of him. It's pretty mm -hmm. awesome, really. Wow, Diesel Girl it says it's been forever since I've seen it. I saw it in the movie theater. Oh, Murray. That has been a while. One more bit. Ah, there we go. Pinata orcs, exactly. Really, the whole key to Lord of the Rings Online is to kill orcs and wards and take their stuff. As long as you're doing that, you're doing doing the right thing. Twelve of twelve on banners. No, I'm finished. Like um, I've got a whole bunch of quests to go turn in. You guys need any help with anything? What are we else are we looking for? Yep. Uh, handing in. Okay, hard hit. You get your quest yeah, turned I, in. I'm turning these in. I just need the relics. I think what you're saying. We'll okay. See. Well, and we're going to have to come back and kill another chief anyway. There will be plenty of half works for that, too, so. Blend says, what's a good class for a new player? I normally hunter. recommend Champion, Hunter, or Guardian. Hunter class, best class. Mm -hmm. But Champion and Guardian are also lots of fun. Yeah, Champion is uh, melee DPS, Guardian is tank, and Archers or Hunter is range DPS. The casting classes are powerful, but a little trickier to learn. Burglar is a melee class that requires a little bit of finesse. Not a good first class to start out with. And then uh, Warden is baffling to a lot of new players. So you'll probably want to try two or three other classes before you try tackling a Warden. Why do you trouble me?
Why do I have a bunch more ornate necklaces? I thought I turned these in. Not gonna lie, that's annoying. I shouldn't have a giant pile of ornate necklaces. Trouble me if your need is not urgent. Hmm. What do you need? Stay a moment. Blow the summoning horn. Gray is the shadow. We've had a decent amount of cash heart. so far tonight. Might about you eight spare a moment of your time? I've talked to somebody and he can't do none. Ace is worth eight. Helm is worth eight. Slightly more copper. And I just completed uh, Silent and Restless Advanced. But still come up and thank me for protecting Oregian every time? Nope. Sweet lad Melon. Potten says, off for now, have fun storming the castle. The Larfin's going into lurk mode. Diesel Girl says, the pool scene with the candy bar sticks out as the most in my memory. That and the Coyote vs. Roadrunner Bill Murray's character had with the gopher. There's a lot of that. I just thought Ted Knight was fantastic in that movie. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a restaurant and one of my friends or my wife is like, I want a hamburger, no, I want a cheeseburger. You'll get nothing and like it. Or, how about a fresca? Classic stuff. Yeah, he was. Played a good role. Yeah, I was playing that teed off uh, pinball machine on uh, Pinball Arcade the other night. I was so tired I couldn't play anything coherent, so I played pinball and a little bit of Rocket League after I started to like loosen up a little bit. But the teed off pinball machine in Pinball Arcade is basically uh, an unlicensed Caddyshack themed pinball game. It's pretty funny gopher and everything um speak quickly or leave me be well it's only 19 quests i mean there's a lot more out here obviously yeah okay you can't do none you can't do none Let's go blow the horn, I guess. Huh? It's a 
gratifying amount of uh, ancient silver around here. That's a happy thing. That was pretty challenging. Do we need to get hard hit oh, some right. more half orcs? No, I did them. Uh, okay. I'm done. Is that where you were selling out? I'm all caught up. Yeah, as long as it I takes me to sort my inventory, you probably had time to go complete Moria. No, I finished the Slayer Deed, though. I only need 200. Nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious. No, I got the 15 GTFO. Where's that timeout thing? Wait, what were we I talking grab, about? I cheated. I cheated. I grabbed like nine at a time and then mauled them. It only took me a minute to do it. There you go. How can I be of service? Oh, we got to turn it in, don't we? Yeah. It was all ready to write off. Which would have been amusing. What can I do for you? I'll time you both out. Oh, is that another ton of them? Mind my words. So I got three quests for Dunan. Yep, I had Dunan. They really yep. want us to go to Ikad Dunan. What do you need? Oh, it's later than I thought. Yep, it's oh, 100 feet now, I think. Yeah, I was like, oh, what is it, 11.30? And I looked over, and it's not 11.30. Then I must have started almost on time. We're just coming up on the three hour mark on the stream. So you guys know the rules. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. We're going to go find somebody to raid. Stick around, show some love to another Lotro streamer, and uh, we'll go say hi here. Uh, I can pick somebody out while I'm riding the Stable Master's horse. Let's see who's on. We've got uh, Lulzek is streaming Lotro. Doug Lendauer, our friend, is streaming Dungeons and Dragons online. Uh, OSU Cowboys is streaming Solasta. Uh, probably should shout him out. Diesel Girl, you are welcome for the stream. Um, Lotro Stream is the official channel for Lotro from Standing Stone Games. The community manager streams on here Fridays at noon Eastern. Uh, there's a bunch of volunteer guest streamers who pop on, and the channel is always full of friendly, knowledgeable Lotro players. It's a good resource if you're interested in the game at all. Hang out, watch some streams if you have any questions. Great place to get answers without getting any shade thrown at you. So, yeah. That's a thing. Let's see who else is streaming Lotro. Uh, looking for French Girl Gaming or El Galadwin. I don't see either of them. Oh, category. Lord of the Rings Online. If there's any other names I recognize. I had followed Lulzek at some point. Um, don't remember Lulzek. Wunderbar.
Oh, well, let's go say hi to Basil One Lotro. We'll go make a new friend. Uh, that could be a thing, right? Uh -huh. I'll stick around for a minute or two. As long as no bad words come out of their mouth, we'll hang out there. You know, we have a great night, everybody. My thanks to Hard Hit and to Bacchus for putting up with me tonight. Ginger, That's have a good cool. night. Uh, I'll be on my channel for the weekend. Uh, probably not Monday night, but tomorrow and Sunday. Come by and say hi to me at uh, twitch.tv Big Ed Mustafa. I guess I can shout myself out. That's why we've got the streamer command. Hard Hit could have hit that for me, but he's sleeping on the job again. Anyway, have a good weekend, everybody, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. You too. Thanks, Ed. Good night, everybody. Cheers, cheers.